So this is Gigabyte's Z170 X Ultra Gaming Board. It's actually one of the newer sort of refresh lineup of Z170 boards and features some cool stuff like a 100 watt USB Type-C connector, which I'll explain later, and some other cool stuff. So uh, yeah, do stick around, hope you enjoy it. So as usual, the box has all of your standard, for, you know, the new features anyway, like ambient surround LED. And inside the box, you get uh, again your usual stuff like the rear I/O shield, SATA cables, the Easy or Q connectors, whatever, as well as the manual and driver disc. The motherboard itself is standard ATX, and uh, you also have PCI X1, X16, X1, X8, X1, and X4. So you can run SLI, but you can't really do more than sort of uh, two-way. You also have some LEDs under the PCIe slots, which actually doesn't look as weird as uh, Asus Strix uh, X99 board. Um, you also have the high definition audio which does sound quite good uh, and you also have a load of LEDs and not only just the ones in the PCI slot and the split PCB audio but also on the full right hand side of the motherboard and in between the RAM slots although it does still look quite cool as I'll show you later. These are also the reinforced RAM slots as well as obviously reinforced PCIe slots. And you do have the new M.2 connector, which allows for 110mm long SSDs, which is nice if you're looking for one of the more high capacity ones, which is always cool. In terms of storage, you also have a U.2 connector, two SATA Express connectors, and two upright standard SATA connectors too. And the Rario is pretty well laid out with Gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, uh, Mini DisplayPort, and a Mini DisplayPort in, uh, which you want, you want to know more about. It's basically just a pass-through. Check out the interview I did with uh, Hunter from Gigabytes. You also have the 100 watts uh, USB. Type C connector and obviously USB 3.1 Type A as well, which is always nice to see. Now, otherwise, uh, as I said, the system does actually look pretty good with all the LEDs on. I'm using a Gigabyte uh, G1 1080 here, uh, which has RGB LEDs on the side so you can match this board. But uh, yeah, I, I do really like, quite like the look of it. Obviously, the LEDs are quite overwhelming, so if you're looking for a stealth build, you can actually turn the LEDs completely off, both in the BIOS and in the software. And speaking of the BIOS, it's, uh, it's all right. It has all the features you'd expect, but personally, I don't really like the way it's laid out or the way it looks, but uh, I don't I guess that's just me. So the rear I.O. is definitely the most interesting part of the board with the 100 watt USB type C connector and before you ask you know that it is meant to be 100 watts yes that's what the standard says but the vast majority of motherboards right now only support 36 watts so unless it's very clear that your motherboard or laptop supports the full 100 watts it's a 36 watt connector so if you're planning on charging your you know MacBook or whatever uh, this board can do it but the majority of others can't so that's quite cool and also the mini display port in now this is definitely this is just a pass through this is purely if you have uh, other display port de mini display port devices that you want to route through and especially if you're using USB type C and you know you want to plug in anything mini display port to go through there anyway point is it's just a pass through um, per it's interesting that it's there it's not something that I'm personally going to be using but nonetheless um, I'd personally like to see an HDMI in with a capture facility that would be really awesome especially if they teamed up with someone like Avermedia or Hapage so that they can you know record on the fly that would make this an excellent excellent streaming board and I, I would like to know what you think would, would that be interesting to you um, but nonetheless that would be awesome but that's this is what we have um, in terms of the reinforced RAM slots again same with the X99 board I looked at it's something that I don't necessarily see a point to, but it does fit with the sort of silver and black theme of the rest of the board. Same with the reinforced PCI slots. I've personally never broken one, but seeing some of the massive and ridiculously heavy, uh, you know, GTX 1080 graphics cards and stuff, um, this could be quite useful. Uh, and the LED arrangement is quite nice. Please note that there isn't a uh, RGB header on the board for, you know, plugging in your case LEDs. Um, you have to, you know, use those separately, but uh, it's still quite a nice arrangement. You've obviously got the LEDs down the side as well as along the split PCB audio and in the RAM. So, yeah, it does look quite cool. Obviously, you can do SLI quite nicely on here and Crossfire as well. So, yeah, it's just it's quite a nice board. It's decent for its price point. Um, and there's not too much wrong with it. The only thing I would mention is that the BIOS still isn't fantastic. They've taken a more sort of red and black and sort of modular design to it, but um, it's still not my personal favorite. I really, I really like the way MSI does their BIOSes right now. Um, and while I'm not suggesting that they copy that, something closer to that than what they currently have would be great. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's my main sort of thing with it. Um, and yeah, I guess that's that. So in terms of scoring, I'm gonna go for a fourth of money, five performance, uh, four functionality because of the BIOS, uh, I think 
five for style and five for tech and score and the gold award because it really is a nice uh, nice motherboard nice styling I actually really do like the look of it um, in terms of the IO it's pretty good as well and uh, yeah, it's just a nice board, I like it, and uh, besides the BIOS not being the nicest and most user-friendly thing in the world, uh, it still is perfectly functional and you can still overclock in it quite well, so uh, yeah, I guess that's that. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, feel free to uh, you know subscribe and hit the like button. If you're planning on picking this board up, please do use the Amazon affiliate link in the description down below, or for anything else, there's more sort of uh, wide-ranging links down there too. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out some of our other videos as we have plenty, including plenty more Z170 motherboards if that's what you're in the market for. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.